Joining us right now on the cusp of uh, the season opener. Uh, you guys ready to finally hit somebody else? Well, we're going to find out. I think we're ready to hit somebody else, <laughs> yes. Get a long bus trip to Iowa Friday afternoon and kick off, uh, I think, at 2 o'clock for a rain time. How do you feel about that long bus trip to kind of start things off? Well, you got to use those things to your advantage. Uh, we got a young football team. A lot of them have not been on an overnight trip before. So it's going to be a learning process in not only on the field but off the field and how you go on a business trip and not a good fun night in a hotel. So uh, a lot, lot of uh, learning to take place this weekend. And going to get uh, a lot of young guys tested and fire for the first time. So who's going to lead this team on offense as far as the quarterback? Shane Turney will, will start at quarterback. Justin Bozier's had a very good camp. Uh, they both will play a great deal. Still got a couple other young men who I think are very athletic that we can do well with. But uh, it's, we're going to go into it uh, uh, with that, uh, that thing in mind, with Turney starting out and Bozier getting to play. And, uh, both of them have different qualities that they lend, and uh, we got to take advantage of that. Is that just something uh, to open the season with, or is that something maybe you'll use throughout the season, kind of a two-quarterback system? As I said, I think that both of them offer uh, some different things, and uh, got to take advantage of both of those. So it could, could be something that uh, you see more and more spread teams going to dual quarterbacks. Michigan's got three they were rolling out. Uh, because of the nature of the things that you do, running with a quarterback and throwing with a quarterback, uh, you have to look at all, all the possibilities that you can create. Now, traveling to Iowa Wesley, and I see online that uh, they're already off to an 0-2 start, but, I mean, you, you can't really look at that uh, too in-depth. Uh, wh what do they present? The fact that this is their third game is the first thing. Um, you know, they got pretty much a veteran ball club returning that didn't do extremely well last year. <clears throat> they are uh, very athletic. They've got speed. They've got some, some veteran leadership. Got a new coach. Uh, we saw them play against Trinity International. Uh, they're undisciplined, and we just hope they stay that way for another week. Is there any, what's the biggest question with your team that you hope gets answered Saturday? Leadership. You know, we've, we've got 11 seniors. Uh, we've got to get some leadership when things get tough. You know, that, that's when you find out. Um, when your back's up against the wall, who's going to respond and make plays, offense, defense, special teams, uh, because most of the phases of our game right now are going to be done with new faces. How much do you guys talk about last season, or do you use it as a motivating factor, or is last season over and done with? Only when you guys stick a camera in my face. <laughs> Which we ask you about it probably All four or five time. times. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Let me go out and bring out a bad video you did on a sports cast. Let's bring it up over and over. <laughs> so it's over. Yeah, it's over. <laughs>